Well, that went differently than expected. No, pretty much what I expected. Pretty much what I expect every time we do one of your ideas. So, we had a little food fight in the middle of the checkout lane. Yeah, that kid in the cart started it. And you sure finished it, huh? Well, technically, you finished it. You ducked. Just saying. My mom is gonna kill me. No, she's not. Yes, she is. Mr. Salamone is a family friend and he helped me get that job because no one else was hiring. You hated that job anyway. That's not the point. Well, you know, you're right. The point is now you're free. We can do all kinds of stuff. We can travel the world. Travel the world. Yeah. Travel the world. Rome. London, Paris. Yeah, well, that sounds great, but at this point, I don't even think I could afford to get to the mall, so. Well, when you figure out your budget, you let me know, I'll be ready at a moment's notice. Mwah, catch you later, bud. All right, I'll see ya. Hey, good luck with your mom. He did it, Jesus, how? How many times am I gonna have to tell you to stop sneaking up on me? I'm sorry, won't happen again. And that's what you said last time. What do you want? Thought it would be fun if we went swim at the pool club today. I'd have if to ask mom. Come on. I'm sure it's fine, let's grab our towels and go. It's not fine, I got in trouble last time. <sighs> and besides, I've got stuff I gotta do today. Oh, well, don't be a wimp. You know, we're gonna be back by the time the pool club closes. Mom keeps getting these letters from the bank. What do you think it means? I don't know, maybe they're giving her money. I don't think so. That guy from the bank, he keeps showing up around here. I remember him, what with the funny last name? Uh, Wiz Whiskey. I hope it's Wiz okay. Was this? I'm sure it's fine. Dude, your mom has got everything under control. Now let's go swimming. Let's go swimming. Let's go swimming. I'll ask. Yeah. Hey, Mom. Mail's here. Oh, thank you. Just set it down right here. Are you busy? A little bit. Why do you ask? Well, I was wondering if you'd be able to take me to the pool today. Well, at least you're asking this time. But not today, there's too much to do. Besides, you have your appointment. Mom, uh, Claude is like really... David. You know, we've gone over this and over this and over this. Yeah, I know, Mom. David, I really need you to make an effort here. How come you keep getting all these urgent letters from the bank? I don't know, I don't want you to worry about that, sweetie. Why don't you go get ready for your appointment now, okay? If you weren't talking to Claude, there'd be no need in us having these meetings. I can't just ignore him. He's my friend. Yeah, I made some of the best friends in my life in college. We went to class together, we lived together, we partied together. <sighs> Those are some of the best times of my life. But there came a time when we all had to go our separate ways. It's just a natural part of life. I think it's time Claude goes his separate way. It's best for everybody. It's best for Claude. It's best for you. It's best for your mother. 
You do want to do what's best for your mother, don't you? Bills keep coming in faster than paychecks. And who knows if I'll have a job to go to next week. I'm just getting so far behind, it's all getting to be too much. You know you can always come to me if you need help. Ever since Jake. Hi, Aunt Diana. Hi, David, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Mom, Claude and I are actually gonna go to the park today. Okay. He's still talking to Claude? I thought you sent him to that specialist. Would you keep it down? David might hear you. Good, maybe that's what he needs to hear. Sarah, if David can't do it on his own, he needs your help, and you need his. Damn it, Tanya. We have this conversation every time. He's my son. No, it's what not. Te what team do you insist on? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be the Saints, dude. The yeah, best well, team in the world. A little more important than me beating you as the Saints. No, Alvin Kamara just coming through. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just juking. We can do like a boxing game. And every time you talk about like boring stuff I'm like that. I'm worried about Aunt Diana Oof. coming over. Dude, how bad could it be, man? I don't know. It could be pretty bad if mom's talking to Aunt Diana. They hate talking to each other, especially about money. You know, we got by fine before, but ever since dad, things have been different. You know, this is actually where he taught me to skip rocks. Clearly not very well. <laughs> See, that's why I'm here. Make you smile, make you laugh. Keep your mind off all of that? Yeah, I can't keep my mind off of it, though. You know, Mom, Dr. Koss, Aunt Diana, maybe they're right. I... They think I don't hear them, but I do. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that I need to be responsible. You know, start helping. Maybe try to get my old job back or look for a new one. Where's the fun in that? Well, it's not fun, but it's something. You know, I, I see how stressed my mom has been about money and the house and me. Look, I should get out of here. I told my mom I'd be home for lunch, so. You know, I'm here to help. You and me, thick and thin, that's all we need. So, let's just skip another rock or toss one in the lake in your case. Then we can go home and figure all this out. One more. Yeah. Yeah, that, that one was mine, the further one. Yeah. Your mother tells me you're still talking to Claude. I thought we were working on that. You know, David, these sessions are designed to help you. He's my best friend. I can't just tell him to go away. How long have you guys been best friends? Like, a couple of years. All right. Well, then I would like to revisit the beginning of your relationship with Claude. If I remember correctly, it all began about the same time as your father's passing. Will you walk me back through that experience, if, if you don't mind? Sure. I, um, I had the day off. And so he asked me if I wanted to go to Leanne's diner. He knew it was my favorite. <laughs> Do you remember that championship game in Little League? You got thrown out. 
Well, yeah, they usually throw you out when you crush the catcher at the plate. <laughs> it's one hell of a way to retire. <coughs> well, they won without me, so I guess they still got to ride off into the sunset. <coughs> <coughs> you okay? Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna use the restroom. Dad! Dad! Dad, what's wrong? Dad, hey, 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 look at me. He was gone before the ambulance arrived. In my professional opinion, I believe the mind does funny things when you go through a traumatic experience, like your father passing. I believe this is when Claude really entered the picture. This is the same time that he manifested into something real to you, other than just imaginary childhood friends. He's been your coping mechanism. I think I have a solution. I can't say goodbye. But sometimes the hardest things reap the biggest rewards. Hey, I thought we were watching the game. What gives? Did I do something to upset you? What's with the cold shoulder? Why won't you talk to me? I'm not going to stop until you tell me. Tell me. David, tell me. Why won't you tell me? Tell me. Dude, tell me, man. Come on, dude, just talk to me. I can't. What do you mean you can't? Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm just, I'm not supposed to, okay? I, I, I can't talk to you. I'm not even, I'm not even supposed to see you anymore. So? All right, just ask me not to show up. I have. You show up anyway. Look, Claude, I am really sorry, but I can't be friends with you right now. You know, if I walk out that door, I'm never coming back again. Dude, I mean it. You'll never see me again.
So are you ready to order? Or are we still waiting on one more? Uh, he's not coming. Um, I'll have the soup of the day. One soup of the day. Anything else? Are you all right? I just miss my friend. What happened? He's gone. I was gonna make lunch. David? Hey, what's wrong? I miss Claude, that's what's wrong. I'm sure you do. I, I, I get it, I understand, I really do, but this is for the best. The best for who? The best for Claude, and the best for you. David, you did the right thing. It was time to say goodbye. Ma, he's family. He's not family. He's not real. He's in your head. Okay. Sorry it had to be like this. Hey, you remember that road trip we always used to talk about taking with Dad? Go across the country. Think of all the trouble we could get into. I can only imagine the trouble you would have gotten us into. <laughs> now might be a good time. You could take the trip. Spread your wings, be free. <laughs> Good time for me. Why not the both of us? Claude. I'm just testing you, man. Just gotta make sure, right? I think I should hit the road then. I guess so. Is he gonna throw that thing or what? Was I supposed to catch that? Well, you were supposed to. <laughs> Bye, David.
David? How did you know where I was? I'm your mother. I know where you like to go when you're upset. He's gone for good. Oh, David. I'm... I'm sorry Claude left. I know how difficult it is to lose a close friend. I was thinking about Dad a lot today. I miss him. You know, I'm always here if you ever want to talk about him some more. What do you think he'd say about all this? I know that he would be very proud of you. You mean that? I'm proud of you. You couldn't be happier about the man you've become. I'm sorry I haven't been helping, Mom. I know it's been tough on you. You have nothing to apologize for, okay? Nothing. I love you so much. I love you too, Mom. <laughs>